Hey, good morning everybody out there. Hope you're blessed. Hope you're doing great. This is gonna be one of those uncut videos, you know. I um like to be completely honest with my brothers and my sisters in Christ. There are no glitz, there is no glamour. There is no fancy editing and expensive cameras and stuff like that with this channel. It's just me, and my Samsung Galaxy, in my car that I've had for 10 years. Hallelujah! Thank the Lord for his blessings. Thank the Lord for his blessings. Each and every one of us is blessed. And we have a lot of things that we can be thanking God for. Let us never marvel on the things that other people have. Let us always be grateful for what the Lord has bestowed upon us. If you have a job, thank God. If you have a car, thank God. If you have a home, thank God. If you have good health, thank the Lord. If you have good things in your life, thank God. Thank God, folks. Don't spend all of your time worrying about what you don't have or the quality of the things that you have. God said that he who is who, who can be responsible over a little things can be trusted with a lot of things. So if you can be trusted with the little that the Lord has given you, you better believe eventually one of these days he's going to find you worthy of giving you more than what it is you have currently, okay? Now, I'm headed to work right now. I thank God for a job, especially a job that I love and uh, that, that, that I can really really get a lot of of um just good hope and feelings from but at the same time you know it's a job that keeps me humble it's a guy it's a job that won't cause me to be rich it's a job that won't cause me to be in a position to where i don't i, I start thinking that i don't need god anymore that's not you know i'm glad i'm, I'm in that position as of right now you know because we gotta we gotta be humble but at the same time you know the lord is not afraid to bless us once our hearts are right. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the number one topic that is on the news, the media, um, as it stands, okay? Now, if you see me squinting, it's because I am headed um, north and the sun is directly in my face. I don't, have, I don't have any sunglasses right now. I don't really care for sunglasses too much. But anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about COVID-19. We're going to be talking about the coronavirus. We're going to talk about not talking about it, if that makes any sense. Let me repeat myself. We're going to talk about not talking about COVID-19. Now, what in the world am I talking about? Believers in Christ, listen to me listen very closely okay this is a massive agenda that is causing the entire world world to 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 become paranoid to become edgy to become stressed out this virus has made its way to every country in the world there's a map I saw last night called the sick map and I'm, I'm just not even going to give that the time of day anymore but every continent except for maybe Antarctica yeah, and, yeah Antarctica was the only one has this virus whether it's in the thousands or whether it's in the hundreds or the tens it, they're there okay it's everywhere the news is doing a fantastic job of keeping this in the forefront of the, the headlines. If it's not this, it's about the elections. If it's not about the elections, it's about some bill trying to get passed. If it's not about some bill trying to get passed, it's something about the LGBTQ. It's always something. But right now, Corona is in the lead. And unlike the rest of those subjects, this is stressing people out so much that people are beginning to be very antisocial, very paranoid. They're beginning to 
not want to be around people. And I get it. Um, by nature, I'm just going to admit it that I am a bit of a germaphobe. And I don't like being around people who are sick. Just like you shouldn't like being around people who are sick. You know, you want to try to stay as healthy as you can. But at this point, it's like every cough, every sneeze that we hear and that we see sets us into panic mode. And we end up alternating our routes. We end up just acting, you know, way too cautious. Not saying we should not be cautious. Please don't twist my words. But we are acting way too cautious. Every time I look at a logical video, you know, studying this virus, seeing exactly what it is, the death rate, and seeing exactly what the symptoms are, and it's just, it's, it's, it's apparent that this virus is not as deadly as people are making it out to be. Isn't it, I, I take that back. It's not as deadly as the media is making it out to be. Because the media is trying to make this seem like this is something that if you get it, you die in a day or two. Okay? They're, they're trying to make it seem like this is something that, I mean, it's, it's just like something that came out of the book of Revelation. It's not even close, people. It's not even close. This is not God's judgment. This is not one of the, the, the vials being poured upon the earth. It's not. This is, it's not, trust me, it's not, it's not, folks, not even close. What it is, is a huge, it, well, it's actually a lot of things. It is, it is an actual virus that I wholeheartedly believe was created in a laboratory, and we have reason to believe it is highly likely to be um, funded by Bill Gates. Now, I've been doing my research. I've been looking into this. This is the type of stuff that you are not going to hear on CNN. This is what you're not going to see on Fox News. This is what you're not going to see um, in media because they wouldn't dare attach his name to a virus and funding the virus. It's just not going to happen. You have to do your own digging. Okay. Now, despite it being a real virus, I, I think that it has a purpose. And their purpose is to really bring people into chaos. In the chaos, remember, when there's chaos, there has to be order. And if there is no order, chaos just seems to take over completely. Okay, now this is nothing but another new world order agenda. Something else to get people on the edge of their seats, to get them scared, to get them afraid, to get them um, wanting to reach out to the government to bring up some solution, in this case a vaccine, and save the day. The people are always looking for the government to save the day. And I believe wholeheartedly that when that day comes that the market of beast is a reality that it's not going to be forced upon people. It's going to be something that the that this, that society just is welcoming and that they're going to accept wholeheartedly with no hesitation. It's not going to be, hey, you better kick your door down. You better take this mark or we're going to cut your head off. You better, you better take it or you're not going to be able to buy and sell. And you better take it and renounce the name of Jesus Christ. That's not the way that Satan operates. I, I, I would think that we would be smarter than that at this point. To know that Satan is crafty. To know that Satan is attractive. To know that Satan is somebody who thinks things through before he decides to execute a plan. Um, he knows that we're not dumb. He knows we're not stupid. And things can't be obvious when he decides that he wants to put a plan in motion okay people are getting to the point right now like i said that they are letting this virus alternate a lot of things there's could be a potential shutting down of schools they did this in china there could be a potential shutting down of of um 
jobs, workplaces, places that have mass amounts of people um, because they did it in China. Now, can you think about the chaos? Can you think about the the um just the, the mindset of individuals who are in an environment to where they can't work, to where the kids can't go to school, uh, money is going to be scarce. Food is going to definitely become scarce. You're going to probably see some remnants of a famine. Um, just very, very stressful times. And people, when they get stressed out, they do really irrational things. Humans have um, a track record of doing stupid things, for lack of a better word, when they're stressed out. That just goes to show you that the creation is completely inferior to the creator. So if you're somebody out there that believes in science and, and humans, you, you better want to think again and look at the history of the flaws of humans. This is why we need to worship God Almighty. Hallelujah. So that being said, I want my fellow believers in Christ to stop eating the hype stop being sucked in by the media stop watching the news i know a lot of you like to watch the news and you're gonna say well i need to know what's going on in the world and listen let me tell you something there's only a handful of things you really need to know when it comes to the news number one the weather <laughs> We got to know whether we're going to need a coat or a tank top or a, a umbrella. You know, the weather, the news is, is very important, okay? Um, and maybe local news, you know, that's about it. Maybe there's uh, some crime going on in your area. But as far as, like, national news, keeping up with the elections and all that stuff, if you want to keep up with the elections, why not go directly to the website instead of looking at a, a clustered site that shows you elections, weather, what's going on in Iran, coronavirus. You know, we, we need to try to avoid as much media as we can because it's stressing us out. And stress is known to rise cortisol levels. And stress has the potential to compromise the immune system. Your immune system is the really the only legitimate defense system that you have against any type of virus or sickness and if you're stressed out all the time on top of working um you know 40 to 80 hours a week on top of dealing with children who are disobedient and screaming and hollering on top of dealing with a lack of sleep and bad nutrition you are just going to be a breeding ground when it comes to not just COVID-19, but anything, the common cold, the flu, anything. So you need to make sure that you are as healthy as you possibly can be. And don't let this stress you out, all right? So stop watching the news because it's, it's just, it's all day, every day. And I can tell the people who, who watch it because you can see their actions. Um, a guy the other day brought this to my attention. He was like, you know, people have 24-7 access to news when it comes to their smartphones. You know, Facebook is a form of media outlet. We get a lot of our news from Facebook. Um, if you want to use social media, why not use Instagram? Instagram, you can manipulate what it is you see on a daily basis. Stop watching certain YouTube videos. Stick to ministry videos. Okay, stick to ministry videos. Stop watching um, worldly videos because they're focused. The world is focused on this right now. You know, t um, delete certain apps from your phone. CNN, Fox, um, whatever media outlets you you listen, you watch, um, or read. Take it off your phone. Take them all off. Even alternative media. Take it off. Take it off for the time being. For the time being. What you need to do, what we all need to be doing, take these things off your phone and focus on God. Focus on the Lord. Stop giving this more attention than we give than you give the Lord. 
Stop giving this more attention than you give Jesus. Give Jesus all of that attention. He's the one that deserves that attention. He's the healer. He's the one that's going to protect us. Did we not forget in Egypt? When God said he was going to send a plague to Egypt, that the blood of the lamb that was over the houses of those who believed, they were spared from that plague. The blood of the lamb protected them from this plague. It's time to stop looking at everything through the physical. And it's time to start looking at things for what it is. And that's the spiritual. It's time to start looking at life through the lens of God. It's time to face reality. And let us be washed in the blood of Jesus. Let us be consumed in the blood of Jesus. Let us be protected in the blood of Jesus and stop being scared of this virus. Let's stop being afraid of this virus. Let's start giving praise to God for the protection in which he's going to give us. Hallelujah. Amen. Saints, pray. Pray. That's it. And then go on about your day. Pray to, pray, pray to plead the blood of Christ over your family, over your household, over those that you care for, over those that you love, over your workplace. God is not going to let this. If, let me put it like this. We all have purpose. And if you have not fulfilled your purpose on earth yet, saints, God is not going to let COVID-19 take you out of here. It's a lot of people that are not going to get this. And I've been seeing videos of people who have been tracking this, actually claiming this over their life, saying things like, well, over 80% of the country, what's his name? Dr. John Campbell. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know who he is. He's this, he's a gentleman from, I, I want to say, I think Australia. Um, he puts out a lot of um, informative information about the virus. A lot of stuff that you won't see on the media, but he's talking about it too much. So like everybody else. I just recently seen a video of him saying, well, 80% of the population, population where I live um, is going to get the virus. So it's only it's inevitable that I'm going to get this at some point. There's no way in the world that you would ever hear me say anything like that. In fact, I better not ever hear a saint say anything like that. Okay, don't claim plagues over your life. That is not the will of God. If you're going to claim a plague over your life, he needs to repent and come to Jesus. That mindset is of the devil. Don't claim that stuff over your life. No. 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 Listen, folks. Listen. We're living in the last days. Satan is pulling out the stops. He's doing things that he's never done before. He's doing things that are causing confusion. He's doing things that are causing distractions. He's doing things that are making people take their eyes off of Jesus. Please do not take your eyes off of Jesus. Take your eyes off of places that you need to take your eyes off of. Take your eyes off the TV. Take your eyes off of this virus. Take your eyes off of all of that stuff. Focus on him. If we put all of our focus on Jesus, he's going to take care of us. That's the best. That's just the point. That's the point. Let's stick together, saints. Videos like this, share them. Because there are some, there are some Christians who are paranoid right now. Who are scared. There's some Christians that are second guessing their salvation and faith in Christ because of this virus. And we need to rest, you know, we need to reassure them that we should never doubt the Lord. So let's stick together. Let's pray for each other. Let's get through this. We will get through this. The Christians of the first century, they got through it. They got through a lot of stuff. And here we are today. We're not going to let this take us out. God bless everybody. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. 
Like this video, share it with somebody. I hope it blesses you. I hope it blesses somebody else. God bless you all.